Over the last few months, I assembled the best team of tall footballers and small footballers from all across the country, and I put them in a big match where the winning team gets $10,000. But before the big match, the tall and small footballers will go head to head in four different challenges to test their skill levels first. And the results are not what you'd expect. Up first is the shooting challenge, and starting things yeah, yeah. off for the tall team is me. Deal with it, deal with it. Go on then, go on then. Hey, come in, um, first time! For my weak foot shot, I was still injured, but yeah. someone on the tool team must have bribed the goalkeeper because somehow I still scored. You'll probably get something. Oi! 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 No, no, no! Oi, 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 oi! First up for the small team was Lao Bola and his volley flew into the corner. And he was close to also oh, doing it with his left, but his shot just went over. It was now Zane's turn, but I'm gonna let his shot do the talking. Bang! Oh! Zane! Yes! Yes! After his amazing volley, we were all expecting another moment of magic in his next turn. Is that going in the video? Yes. Yeah, it's going in the video. Yeah. Good luck, Out of nowhere, Abdu scored this beauty to get a goal back for the small team. On his next attempt now, he had a lot to live up to, but just like Zayn, his weak foot let him down. Last to go for the tall team is Lil JR, and a goal here could win us this challenge. Oh, JR! I was thinking, I'm not doing the other JR part. then attempted a long shot with his oh, left foot, but it came the same way with his feet. Oh, with the tall team leading 3 2 in the final round, the small team needed at least a goal to not lose this challenge. But after Menace's shot flashed over, it was looking unlikely. With only one chance left to save his team, Menace pulled off one of the craziest things I've <laughs> ever seen. We got touch! Wait! <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, Doesn't no, matter. No, no, no. What a goal. Get in. What a goal. Oh my god. Over to the strength test, and what better way to test your strength than a good old fashioned game of tug of war? With a combined height of over 31 feet, the tall team were definitely favourites to win this. But the small team wanted to prove everyone wrong. Hey, the tall team. I'm taking the lead. The small team are going to Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. The small team shock everyone and take round one. I told them the small team are going to win this. It's all about strategy. But surely the tall team will make their comeback in round two. Come on, come on, come on, come on, team. Come on, come on. Here we go. Let's go. The small team. The small team. The small team have taken a 2 0 lead. Nobody expected this. Look, they've given up already. The ref's helping them. The ref's helping them. Before the third round, tensions were rising. Hey, that's here, bro. Look how the rope you got. Take all the rope. We'll take the rope back off them. The tall team need to win this round. Well, that's game over. But if the small team win right now, they are 3 0. Smalls in fashion, tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> Three, no, two, one! <laughs> oh, so that's different ready. strategy Three, this time. Two, one. Let's, Let's go, go. Strategy. Let's go! Let's oh go! Gosh. Here we go, here we go! The tall team were in control of this round. All they needed to do was hold on to save themselves from absolute humiliation. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it! I got it! Pull 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 it! Just as well! Keep going! Pull it! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Let's just rock the babies. Let's just rock the babies. Hey, smalls and fashion. Look at them. Look at them. Smalls and fashion. The small team have destroyed the tall team in tug of war, winning by three rounds to zero. Later in this video, the tall team will get a chance of revenge in the big match. Now for the defending challenge. With average heights of five foot seven and six foot four, the defenders must stop 1v1 specialist Azza from scoring to earn a point for their team. Starting with the Sunday League defender. And let's just say things went as you'd expect. <laughs> It didn't start well for the small team, but let's see if the tall Sunday League defender was in for the same fate. Hey, look at that! <laughs> at the end of round one, the tall team led by one point, and we still had the ex academy defenders to come. But first, let's see what the semi pros can do. Oh! Danny, you're next! 
Next for the semi pros was Danny. Him and Azza have history, so it was no surprise that their 1v1 was very physical. Oh no! I ran! Where's the bullet run? Azza managed to get his shot away, but in the build up, Danny was pulling him. So we decided to replay the round, and this happened. And now finally, it was time for the X Academy defenders. Big leagues, man, big leagues. You look, get out of the way, man. On him, man, on him, on him, on him. Once again, Azza was fouled by the defender before he took his shot, so we restarted the round. And this time, Azza had only one thing on his mind. Last, but definitely not least, Justice, the six foot seven X Academy defender. It's time to see who will win this matchup. But in the next round, Azza used his strength to his advantage as he skipped past Justice and placed the ball into the corner. With the scores won apiece, we went into a third round to decide the winner. Justice! Amazing performance. It was only right. I already know what that means. It was only right. The team are the winners. Come on. Come on. The fastest man in the world, Usain Bolt, is six foot five inches tall. But it's a common theory that the fastest footballers in the world tend to be on the shorter size. For the final challenge, we're putting their speed to the test in a tall versus small relay race. You guys are ready for this? Are you ready for this? Let's go. Let's see what you're about. The runners were set, so it was time to begin the race. Three. Come on, come on. Two, one, go. Ah, come hey, on, come on. Good start, Justin. Keep going. Keep going, Justin. Justin. Yes. Good start. Yes, hey, Justin. Keep it. Hey, Zay. All the way. All the way. All the way. Hey. Let me bring this home. Yes. Let me bring this home. Hey. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go Justin. Go, go. Good hey, boy. Yes. yes. Come on. Yes. yes. Nine nice speed, zero stamina. At the end of the four challenges, the tall team came out on top, but it wasn't over yet for the small team. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, the tall versus small match, where the winning team gets $10,000. The tall team were victorious in the challenges, so the small team were coming into this match with a lot to prove. With combined heights of 70 feet and 59 feet, we were gonna see how important a 10 foot difference was. Oh, one, two, three, four, four, two, one, two, one, two, one, let's go! The teams are ready, the prize was set, let the tall versus small match commence. In the early stages of the game, the differences between the two teams were clear. The tall team were physically dominant and as expected won every single header. Whereas the smaller players were more agile and absolutely dominated possession. So it was no surprise when they came close to scoring twice early on. But five minutes later, against the runner play, Zayn slipped a through ball to Solomon whose touch helped it onto Junior, who then converted his own rebound to give the tall team the lead. He's offside! Yeah. After the first goal, the tall team had unlocked a new level of confidence. Zayn ran into the box, passed two defenders, dropped a defender to the ground, but he just couldn't find the right pass. But the small team was still full of belief and were just about kept out by the long leg of the tall team's goalkeeper. Menace then tried to recreate his spectacular volley from the shooting challenge, but this time he missed hit it. With only one goal in it, the game was heating up. Dangerous tackles were flying in. Oh. So when Abel shifted the ball past the defender in the box, he was bound to win a penalty, oh! and that's exactly what happened. Oh! Oh! The tall team protested, but it was a clear foul from their player. Abel was hurt after the late challenge, but he still stepped up to take the penalty. He now had the chance to level the game for his team. The pressure got to Abel and his penalty just went wide. And for the small team, things were about to go from bad to worse as Junior sprinted into the box. After Junior found me at the back post, I tapped the ball home, taking the tall team into half time, 2 0 up. Just need to tighten up at the back. Three of us in the midfield are nice on the ball, man. Just trust us, support us, right backs, left backs. Just more of the same with this. Let's go. Yeah!
The second half began and the small team were on it. After Shane won the ball back, Menace took it past three tall team defenders and almost scored a crazy solo goal. They kept up the pressure and after Josh hustled to get the ball back, he played Lau through, who placed it into the bottom corner to make it 2-1. After the small team's goal, they were full of confidence. But the tall team made sure to assert their physical dominance to take back control of the game. With the score still 2-1, both teams knew how important the next goal would be. So when the ball landed at my feet after Danny's third tackle in a row, I decided to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> after an amazing run, I rushed the shot and it went well wide. The tall team were dominating now and it looked certain that they would get the next goal. But with 10 minutes left, Abel sprinted onto a loose ball and was brought down in the box. Hey, the redemption story! They'd been gifted the opportunity of dream for the small team. This was their best chance to save the game. But for Abel, this was his chance to get redemption. Tackle. Oh, Abel's penalty was saved, but he Finish found Menace, who put it across the box for an open goal. Ah! And somehow it hasn't right. ended up in the back of the that. net. The tall team were running the clock down now with some beautiful one-touch passing. The game was all but over, but there was still time for one more moment of magic. <laughs> Defender sat him down, squared the ball to Ali, who smashed it home, sealing the victory for the tall team. The Dan, small team had collapsed now. Danny drove forward, played it to Solomon, who's perfectly oh, weighted Solomon. through ball, put Zayn through on goal, and he expertly oh, chipped wow. it into the top corner. <laughs> putting the game to bed once and for all. The final whistle blew, and the game ended 4 1 to the tall team. Congratulations to the Tool Team for being the overall winners of the Tool vs Small Challenge and taking home the $10,000 grand prize.